Hello, hello everyone. My name is Alex Martinez. I am a developer advocate here at MuleSoft. And in today's video, we are going to learn how to set up your data cloud settings so you can have everything ready to create a Mule integration with data cloud. So once you have logged in into Salesforce, make sure that you have data cloud access before continuing. Now that you have confirmed it, the first thing we're going to do is go here to setup and we are going to create a connected app. So search for app manager, select that. And once this opens, select new connected app right here from the top right of the screen. You can add any name that you want. I am going to call it my connected app. So I remember which one it is. Um, take a note of the API name that is here and then add your contact email. After that, scroll down until you see here the API enable auth settings. Make sure you check that out. Here in callback URL, we are just going to use the same URL that we have here. And after that, we have to select some auth scopes. In our case, let's select access interaction API resources, access all data cloud API resources, manage data cloud calculated insight data, manage data cloud identity resolution, manage data cloud ingestion API data, manage data cloud profile data, manage user data via web browsers, perform NCSQL queries on data cloud data, and perform segmentation on data cloud data. After that, you can scroll down and select the check here from enable client credentials flow. And it's going to tell you a little warning here. Just press OK. And that's all you need to do. So you can just scroll down and click on save and then click on continue. Now we need to retrieve the consumer key and secret because we are going to be using these credentials in our Mule application. So if you click here on manage consumer details, it's going to ask you for a verification code that is going to be sent to your email. So once you input the verification code, just click on verify. And now you will get to this page. You can simply copy the consumer key and consumer secret from here, or you can generate new ones if you are not sure if these are being used anywhere else. So you can click here on generate. This will generate two new stage consumer key and stage consumer secrets. So you can copy this and once you click apply, these two values will be set here on the actual consumer key and consumer secret. So let's click on apply, apply again. And now we can see that they were changed to this part right here. So you can do that as many times as you need. If you feel that your consumer key and consumer secret have been compromised, just make sure you update them in your Mule application whenever you have your integration. After that, you can close this page. Now we have to verify something really quick. Just search for OAuth and OpenID. This one right here, OAuth and OpenID Connect Settings. And just make sure that you have this checked to allow OAuth username and password flows and to allow OAuth user agent flows. Now the second step is to create your ingestion API. So now let's search for ingestion API. Click on that and this will open another page. Just click on new, add any name that you want. In my case, it's going to be my ingestion API. Now, once you have it, you will see here that connector status says schema required. So you have to upload here your own schema. In my case, I already have an example, so I can just upload it here. Next is going to ask me to preview my schema just to make sure that all of the fields and everything that I uploaded from the schema are indeed what I intended them to be. And then click on save. Once you have done that, now the connector status will say that it needs the data stream. So now let's create that one. Now going back to data cloud, you can make sure that you are in data cloud by searching for it right here. Select it and it will open data cloud. After that, you can click here on data streams and let's create a new one. So click on new. Now to select the data stream, select the ingestion API and click on next. From the drop down here, let's select the one that we just created, my ingestion API. 
and you can select whichever objects you want. In my case, I'm just going to select runner profiles and click on next. The category here is going to be profile and the primary key is going to be MAID because that is a primary key from my object. It might be different in your case. Once you have that, you can click on next. Here, you just have to make sure that the data space is set at default or whatever data space you want and click on deploy. Once you see this page, you will know that everything is ready. You can also go back to your ingestion API just to make sure that the connector status changed to in use. And that's all. Those are all of the basic settings that you will need in order to create a mule integration with data cloud. So the four most important credentials that you are going to be using in your data cloud integration are the Salesforce username, the Salesforce password, and the consumer key and consumer secret that we just created. Other details that you might also be needing for your mule integrations is the name of the ingestion API. In my case here is my ingestion API the object name of the one you created in the data stream, in my case is runner profiles, and the object ID or the primary key in my case is MAID. And that's all for this video. Remember to follow us and subscribe so you can get notifications as soon as we publish new content. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.